Okay, so this is the new and improved method for True Stretch and Valorant. Um, you don't need WinXP or anything like that, and it works on NVIDIA and AMD. So if you want to get stretched like Sketch, keep watching. Uh, the guy who found this, I'll link his stuff in the description. His name's HRZXV3. I'll link his Twitter. I'm um, going to give him a follow. Another big benefit of this over the old method is that uh, when you start Valorant, it starts in True Stretched even after you restart your computer. So you don't have to do this once with the old method, you had to relaunch. Win XP and change your resolution, change your fill every single time is really annoying to do. Um, the very first thing you want to do for NVIDIA is go into your control panel settings. Um, I'm on AMD, so it's going to look a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. You go to your control panel settings, go to change resolution, uh, click on the box that says enable resolutions not exposed by display, and then pretty much follow what I do here for AMD. Go to your Radeon settings, um, go to the display here. You'll see custom resolutions. If you have more than one monitor, make sure you get the right one and then create new. I'll pop up some resolutions on the screen here that you can use. Um, the main thing is that the vertical pixels divided by the horizontal pixels needs to be at least 1.45. Um, I personally use 1920 by 1440. My monitor is 170 hertz, but with stretch res, it's kind of weird trying to do 170. I couldn't get it to work, so I just use 144, not a big deal. Uh, once you set up your custom resolution for either AMD or NVIDIA, it's the same thing. You can go to your Windows settings here, go to your display settings, and then scroll down and choose your custom res. Mine's 1920 by 1440. Your screen's going to go black for a second. No big deal. Should come back up. And then you're going to notice already like stuff looks a little bit warped and stretched, and that's a good sign. Um, after you do that, make sure you change your refresh rate to 170 hertz. It will go black again, no big deal, but you have to do that every single time you change the resolution on Windows. It's really annoying. I don't know why it's set up like that. Um, so now that we're on our new resolution, we can go to Device Manager. Here, you wanna go to the Monitors tab, click this arrow, drop it down, right-click both of these. So I have two monitors, you have to do it on both, and then Disable Device. Don't click Uninstall Device, that's gonna fuck your monitors up. Disable them. And then once both of them are disabled, you can launch Valorant. So let's do that real quick. So it's gonna look a little weird when you first launch it. Um, that's fine, just click into it. And then for me, it should already be true stretch. It might be true stretch for you guys too. Okay, so now that we're in Val, you can get your settings. And then here in the video, um, you want the aspect ratio method to be on fill, not letterbox, and then press apply. Display mode has to be full screen and it should say custom resolution and there should be no monitor screen here. So close your settings. Once you get all this set up, if it's not there, um, sometimes if it doesn't let you go on fill, you can um, adjust the custom res and change the numbers and Google what numbers work for your native resolution. So for me, I'm 2560 by 1440. Just Google what that is. Uh, most people are going to be 1920 by 1080. Not a big deal. And then once you figure out which one works and you're on fill, um, you can go to the range here. The loading screens are a bit weird. Um, and the first time you do it, your mouse might be like two or three inches to the left of where it's actually at. So visually it's going to look off. You can just hover to the left to click on things. But once you get those settings right, it's going to work. And then if stuff's buggy, you can alt tab back it. into it and it will fix it as well. Um, so let's just play raise here. And then, but here you see all the models are stretched and your FOV is a little bit closer. It's easier to aim. Um, so now that we have that set up, we can talk about the sponsor of the video, which is Custom Curve. Um, Custom Curve is a mouse acceleration software, kind of like Rockcell, but with uh, a better UI and better settings. I'll pop up some stuff here on, on the video. Um, this is what a curve looks like. So basically, the further right the curve is, that's how fast you're moving your mouse left to right. And then the higher the curve goes is how much it scales your sense up. So mine, I have it set up. So the sense is always the same when I'm moving my mouse like this, this speed here. And then when I flick, it scales the sense up. So if you have like a smaller mouse pad or you play on slower sense and you don't like having to, you know, do this to turn around, you can play on that so slants and still be able to flick the stuff. Um, it takes a day or two to get used to, but once you're used to it, it really helps with your aim. Uh, I was like a diamond player for a while. And I played on stretch res with a uh, custom curve and I was playing two or three games a day. I went from diamond to a center three in literally a week. So I know for a fact it works and it does help. It does help with your aim, I promise. Um, use code slouched, S-L-X-U-C-H-E-D for 33% off. And 
you can get back to the video. If you've done it right, uh, whenever you're done playing Val, you can close your game out. And then you can change your Windows resolution back to normal. So for me, 2560. And then whenever you launch Val, it's going to change that resolution for you and it's going to be stretched. Um, I haven't confirmed if you have to change your refresh rate every time, but it's worth checking just because like if you are playing, you're going to notice if it's on 60 hertz. So you'll know. Uh, I haven't really played much with this. I was doing WinXP for the longest time until I saw this on Twitter. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is clipping softwares. Uh, for most clipping softwares, you're going to have a problem where there's black bars on the side. I'll show you how to fix it with Radeon. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your settings. Um, let's see, record settings. And then right here, recording resolution. You want this to be in game. And so then when it, whenever you are done recording, it's going to have that stretch look. And then for like OBS, which is what I use, I set up, um, replay buffer here. So I have it where OBS starts as soon as my computer is turned on. And then it also starts replay buffering and then it hides itself in the corner every single time I turn my computer on. It's really nice. It's better than uh, GeForce. It's better than AMD. It doesn't have issues and OBS is a much better software. Um, to set this up though, you want to go to your settings and make sure your output is on uh, 1920 by 1080. So standard video resolution. And then you also want to, uh, your video here for Valorant, it's going to kind of look like this. And it's not going to be filled out. You just stretch it to the sides and make it fill and make it fit the screen. You can also right click it and do it, which is easier. And then it's going to fit that screen. It's going to remove the black bars and it's going to look clean. Um, I'll pop up some clips of me playing Val stretch rest here. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much the video. My last video kind of blew up. I got a lot of comments on it and a lot of people asking questions. Um, I think this one's a lot easier to do, so it's not nearly as hard. And it's like half the effort and it works every single time you launch your computer. Um, but yeah, the main thing is just whenever you're done, make sure you go back to your normal res and change your, uh, your refresh rate back to whatever your monitor is and you're pretty much good to go. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Headshot. Uh, I'm, it's very Spike down.